Uh, it's really cool that the new kit on the block uh, that just implemented live booleans. So I really wanted to test out and find the best software to do heavy live booleans you know, between 3D Code, Blender, and ZBrush. I know people will immediately ask about the specs on my computer, so here they are. So I'll pick on, on the layer that is one of the Boolean operations. I'm using just two layers to do it. So I'm essentially cutting a 13 million mesh with about a 3 million mesh uh, uh, Boolean. And uh, no, it's really complex. It's pretty much like a, you can imagine like a piece of a rock. And it is doing it at, uh, pretty much real time, not uh, pretty fast, a little bit of a lag there, but really quite impressive what we're getting here on the fly and I'm just picking and switching to another layer. Uh, Blender is known not to deal well with heavy meshes and this is another proof. So in this case, I couldn't even uh, do a boolean on a 20 million mesh. So I had to drop down and you can see here on my left, uh, the poly count is just like uh, a total about a million triangles and uh, it is very, very slow. So it's just, it doesn't move. So uh, with 20 million boolean operation would just crash Blender immediately, so uh, Blender here loses big time. And the old player in the block, uh, ZBrush, is all, has always been great with heavy meshes and this is not an exception. I'm running, uh, again, a 20 million mesh, though it's a bit confusing, it says total points are 10 million, but in fact it's like it's also the points, uh, the polycon is 20 million. So it's running pretty fast, I would say faster than 3D code by 20-30%, which I would say the difference is not that big. It's uh, between two softwares, uh, so, it's, so it's more about the what software you'd prefer to use, not really about the speed of booleans, while in you know, case of Blender, the boolean speed is a deal breaker because Blender is the worst in this case.